Hi, I'm Jeff from TechLeap, and today I'm going to show you how to use the light sensor in your micro bit to make a magic trick like this. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to use the light sensor that's in the micro bit uh, in these LEDs to detect the ambient light level so that when I hold my hand over it, it detects that change in light and displays either a blank screen or a heart. So to do this, we first need to find the light level uh, output from the light sensor, which you can find under the in the input drawer down here. There's the light level. Now the first thing that we want to do is set up um, the initial light level that you've got in your room. So you may be in a slightly dark room or a bright room. So we, we want to grab that initial light level using the on start uh, button. So I'm going to create a variable to store that starting level in. Uh, and I've actually set it up already. I'm going to use this variable called starting light and I'm going to put the light level into it like that. So when the program starts, it's going to detect the initial light level and we're going to use that um, in sensing the change. The next thing to do is we are going to use a condition. We are going to do a check, a conditional check to see whether um, the light level that we're currently using here um, is changing, whether it's getting darker. So we're going to go into the logic drawer and pull out one of these conditional statements and pop that in there. Next thing we need to do is a bit of logic again. We'll go into the logic drawer and we're going to grab the comparison here. So we're going to grab the light level, duplicate that by right clicking on it at that light level, we want to say if that light level is less than maybe half or a third of the starting light level. So we need to go grab that starting light. Here's the light level. But we need to do, uh, we need to find a half or a third of that light level. So we need to do a bit of math to calculate that. So I'm going to go into this drawer here and grab the divided by operator and we want to divide that starting light I'm going to say by three so that we get one third of the initial starting light so if we detect that the light level in the light sensor is one third of the initial starting light we can kind of sense that there's been a change in light I put my hand over it something like that so when that happens, I want to display the heart icon, which you can find in the basic drawer. And um, we can test this out. So I click on download and it's downloaded. So test it out and it's there. But if I do it again, it's still there. It hasn't changed. So we need some way of toggling between so that every time we sense that the light level is a third of the starting light that it toggles between a blank screen and a heart so what i'm going to do is set up another variable to check whether the heart is on or not and i'm going to put that set that up in the on start block and then set it to zero so in this case zero means that the heart is not on and one will mean that the heart is on so when i show this icon i also need to go back into the var variable drawer and set is his heart on to one then i can do a check in here in this condition to check whether is heart on 
equals zero because I only want to, if the heart is not on, I want to display this. So let's add that in now. I'm going to go back into the logic drawer and grab the comparison equals operator and just, oh no, actually, first of all, I need to go into the logic drawer and grab the Boolean operator of AND. And I'll drop that, if I can, into that entire bit there. And let's add the is heart on variable check into here. So is if is heart on, whoops, let's undo that and try again. If is heart on equals zero, then we want to display the light. So I'll just reduce the size of this slightly so we can see all the code in there. Right, so that's for showing the heart, but we also want to show a blank screen if it happens again and the heart is already on. So if I click on this plus sign and do it again, do it twice, I add another if statement there. And I can simply right click on this diamond shape, duplicate that, add it in, and then change heart to one. So now whatever I put in here will happen when the starting light is less than one third, uh, the light level is less than one third of the starting light and the heart is already on. We're going to switch it to a blank screen. So set all the LEDs to blank and then duplicate this set heart. Set the heart is on back to zero because we've turned the heart off. Um, and finally, we can delete this final else statement and then we are all good to go. So we can download it and check what happens. Okay, so it's downloaded. So I cover it up and there's the heart. I cover it up again and it's gone. And that's it. So the only thing left to do is add a magical flourish to your trick or like that. And you're done and you can impress your friends. Have fun with this.